Hi, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can utilize the free time you have in, in the summer uh, to learn quantitative finance. So if you're a student and uh, your semester exam uh, just got over and you want to utilize the time that you have to learn something new, to learn something that is challenging, then I'll, I'll tell you as to how you can, you know, uh, learn quant finance even if you're not interested in uh, making a career in quant finance it will still be you know useful if you learn uh, quant finance um, but before you if you're really keen on making a career in this field then you really have to then start learning right and this is one of the best time to uh, to start learning because you know in summer vacation you have a lot of time so you can really focus on uh, you know doing a lot of things right and and uh, you also have the flexibility of learning the way you want to learn because unlike learning something in a university where you don't have that flexibility right you don't decide what is the syllabus of the course that you are doing in the university right um, but here you have the flexibility you don't have to give exams here so you're doing that for yourself so that's interesting but that's also can be a bit challenging sometimes right especially focusing on thing not being disciplined and all that so i'm going to tell you as to how you can make the best use of you know six weeks or two months of vacation that you have in the summer <clears throat> okay uh, one way to go about it is to do an internship if you manage to find an internship opportunity at a financial service firm that's uh, perhaps the best way to learn you will learn on the job and i always believe that learning on the job is quite good uh, if i've already learned a bit yourself really helps you know finding intensive opportunities but uh, it's not always easy to find intensive opportunities um, and uh, it's already summer right so you should have already uh, already uh, tried long back if you wanted to work in the summer as an intern right you can't just find uh, intensive opportunity in one week or two weeks uh, time period right you need more time for that so you need to find an opportunity well in advance before the summer in order to be able to utilize your summer but if that is something you have missed you still can learn in different other ways okay so one of the ways to uh, take help from a mentor do a course uh, which is more structured um, and talk to people who are in this field and uh, learn from them so that's uh, yeah another alternative uh, you could also utilize uh, uh, the free resources available online for that uh, that's also quite possible that you learn from you know the different resources available free of cost online from youtube videos from different blogs reading some books good books it's quite possible that you do that obviously you need to be more disciplined if you want to do just self-study but if somebody has curated a good course and if you, I, like I personally have curated one. So if you're interested, you can also, you can always reach out to me. And I think many people have uh, reached out to me in the, in, in the last six months or so. Um, but uh, it's quite possible also that you, you learn without uh, anybody's mentorship, anybody's uh, without do, doing even a course, you know, um, it's quite, quite possible. Um, just go through the you know different uh, uh quant finance videos from different uh, uh you know universities us university in particular they have many quant finance videos on their youtube channel you can make use of that it can be a bit boring actually because a lot of these people are very academic in nature many of them may not have any experience in the real world and to be very theoretical very academic in nature and probably will get bored um but if you ha do have the patience yes make the best use of those videos go through some blog blogs you can also just um yeah do some do a bit of research uh, online to you know find uh, good free resources but if you want to learn in a bit more structured way i think it's it's good to you know do a course and and um that is somewhat better in my view um right but there are other ways also to go about it. For instance, <clears throat> uh, just uh, learning by doing, uh, which is um, to just do a project, right? You know, the problems in quant finance uh, are very, very uh, well known, right? You want to invest your money, you want to get best return. 
you want to lend money to some customers uh, and you want to get the best return out, out of them with minimum risk right so these questions these problems are very much well known to people right there are many ways to uh, solve these problems there are many different techniques used but why don't you start with just one of these problem in the field of finance and try to solve using some mathematical models building some algorithms around it writing some code and then maybe you know building an it system right just do a project that's what i'm trying to say you know do a project uh, a side project um you know learn some programming and do a project right it may not be great but just do do it right don't think about okay i'm doing it correctly or not so correctly but just go and do it uh that's also one really good way of just starting in this field right some people believe that it needs to be uh you need to first learn the theory before you you do anything uh i kind of uh, disagree with them because things have changed a bit over the years actually because you know 20 30 years back i think in quant finance you really needed to use a lot of theory but i think things are changing a bit now i think the uh, in in the in the in the industry um there is a uh, increased importance of simplicity that means uh, you don't use very sophisticated models but you use very simple models but what you really uh, care about is uh, efficiency right have building good systems ensuring that the model that you build even if it is simple is is built uh, with you know um Uh, with uh, you know um, a lot of care that means you have really taken care of all the assumptions and you have uh, taken care of all the instances the model can um, be very inefficient in in predicting things you have done proper risk management you have the checks and balances in place so all those things are very important nowadays compared to late 20 30 years back where people were experimenting you know a lot and very academic sophisticated models used to be uh, used uh, having said that in some areas of quant finance you really need to use quite a bit of theory right for instance derivative pricing if you ever never have used derivative pricing you can't just build a model you can't build a system so you really need to you know understand derivative pricing very well so it's very but that's not something for example in credit scoring right credit scoring is a very uh, you know very well known uh quant finance uh, modeling technique in the field of finance and uh, it's not you know rocket science to be honest to build credit scoring models right there are some best practices but you don't have to worry about those best practices uh just go on building some machine learning models or uh, you know you may be may not be doing great be, may not uh, be building it correctly for the first time but to do it using the first principle right you are just assessing the probability uh that the customer that uh, uh you are serving is is a good customer or not right so don't worry about the industry based practices just go on building something you could be also building some machine learning models around forecasting financial uh, asset prices right so that is one project you could do there could be projects around let's say portfolio maximization how do you ensure that a mix of portf- uh, assets in your portfolio could be commodities some stocks bonds give you the the best return for a given level of risk right so uh, it's an interesting problem right so go on doing one of this uh, these projects that will help you a lot in terms of learning more and more right um, so yeah you can also learn quant finance through doing something right it's more like uh, how you learn programming right where you build a system and uh, you, you build a system for for something right and that's how you learn the syntax and and the way you do the the coding and all right um again i would like to tell you that uh, you can't do that in all areas of quant finance there are some areas where it's is quite difficult but uh, there are certainly some areas where you know you you can do some projects without even having any background of uh, you know the theory and everything okay um i would still recommend you to do a proper course uh, a more structured one and get a bit of mentorship rather than trying on your own but if that is not an option for you then do the other one right i think anything you would like to know like to learn uh, can be self taught and i have said this many times on this channel it certainly can be self taught i don't you don't need any mentor you don't need to do any course 
you just uh, read some books and watch some online videos do some projects i think that should be enough to get started in this field but it's not for everybody right i know i think nine out of ten people cannot do that um no at least in my experience i've seen that you really need uh someone to help you out a bit okay <clears throat> And especially because this is one field which is more applied, right? You know, you don't have a lot of things on online, actually. You know, it's, it's, it's not not uh, everything about quant finance is there on, on the public domain. So you don't have the access to uh, yeah, a lot of things. So that's where really it, it really helps to, you know, um, to talk to someone. Um, but yeah, you can make use of your time in any of these ways. You do an internship, do some projects yourself you know, read some blogs, read some books, watch some free videos maybe, or do, do a, a proper course, right? Um, I run a course, there are also many other people, by the way, who run the course, depending on what you require, what you want to do. Like some people want to do just algo trading, right? You know, there are some good people who are making good, uh, who have made good algo trading courses. I wouldn't recommend anyone because I haven't done any of their courses. So I am nobody to tell you as to what what's good and what's not. So that's up to you to do the research and, and to, to, to know about that. But if you want to have a more balanced view about what quant finance is, which, you know, covers, you know, a bit of theory, but also applications, um, something that you can be, you can finish in about two or three months time, then you can always reach out to me. I do uh, have a very beginner friendly course and uh, yeah, the initial feedback has been great. Uh, many people have, uh, share the feedback it has been great so in case you are interested let me know right if you want to make use of your summer time then uh, you could go for this course but otherwise also if you have any other questions let me know if i can help you with anything okay thanks guys